Falcons have the ball on the 30-yard line here, and they are ready to go. There's the snap, and Beck drops back. He lost it off, and Spike makes the grab. Wow, what a catch. They're going to need to hurry up here, Roger. They only have a couple seconds left on the clock, and they're lining up on the goal line. And there's the snap. Beck hands it off to Woods. And Woods, Woods breaks Shit. through. And that's a touchdown. That's going to seal the deal, folks. Wow. History in the making right here. The Falcons win the title. Wow, Roger, Roger, you got to tell me your thoughts on this one. That was unbelievable. Can I get you a drink? Is that okay? Yeah. This city. I mean, what happened? You know, I saw on the news the other day that there were more murders this year in this city than any other year in recorded history. Now, why is that? That's a great question, man. You know, when my partners and I first got on the job, half the murders had to do with money or drugs, but now it just seems like everyone's going completely crazy, you know? Is that why you're in this mess, Paul? Work getting to you? $50,000? Last week it was 25 and I told everyone on the street you were good for it. Now it's 50. You know, Matthew, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I can't apologize enough. You know what's nuts? I was doing okay. The past couple months I was doing pretty good. Especially at the racetrack. There was this one horse. It was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. It was ready to go. But then that jockey, that fucking jockey, he shows up the morning of the race completely coked out of his mind, and then he was partying all night the night before. God knows how many people lost money because of that guy. He should never be allowed to race another horse in his life. I mean, that, that, that's no excuse. That is no excuse. I'm sorry. I, I screwed up. I'm going to get you the money. I swear to God, I'll get you the money. It's okay. I'll talk to the bookies, and you know, I'll get it taken care of. Don't worry. You can do that? I can do that. But, Paul, there is one small favor I need you to do. Hey man, you name it, it's done. What do you need? Take a seat. You know my brother, Sal. I remember Sal. How's he doing? <laughs> How's he doing? He's a fucking mess, Paul. He's a junkie. Just like you. I mean, gambling's one thing, but, you know, with Sal, it's, it's pills, it's drinking, it's hard drugs. If you can shoot it up or snort it, he's doing it. Matthew, I'm sorry. That, that doesn't sound good. I've spent so much money. Trying to clean his ass up. I even sent him to one of those fancy resorts that these rich people send their coked out, fucked up kids to. And I don't even want to think about the money I spent cleaning up his messes, or I might throw up. What I'm getting at, Paul, is he's just, 
He's a huge pain in my ass. And I want him taken care of. Taken care of? Killed? Yes. That's exactly what I mean. And you're going to do it for me. Matthew, you, you don't want to do that. No? No. Why? He's your brother. He's your little brother. You're supposed to take care of him, you know, show him the way. Oh, please. I've been wiping his ass his whole life. Especially these last three years. If, uh, you do this for me, clear your debt. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Matthew, I'm a police officer. <laughs> and that's exactly why I want you to do it. I mean, I, I could have one of my guys do it, but now they're so sloppy. You work homicide. You know exactly what to do. You know how to make it look like an accident. I mean, hell, make it make it look like an overdose. If Sal died tomorrow of an overdose, no one would blink an eye. They'd say, of course he did. He's a fucking junkie. Oh, shit. No, no. Enough, okay? Enough. You're putting me in a really bad spot here, buddy. A real bad spot. Oh, I am. How is that? One, I'm doing it no matter what you offer me. Two, what happens if tomorrow I turn on the TV and I see on the news there's a picture of your dead brother? Or God forbid, I get called to a crime scene and my partner shows me Sal lying on the ground dead? What am I supposed to do? Huh? What am I supposed to do? You don't want to do this. You're not going to do it. He's your family, for God's sake. Don't you talk to me about family. Do you have a brother? Huh? Do you? Then what the hell would you know? You know what kind of guy Sal is? You remember that body you and your boys fished out of the river last month? Yeah. Suicide, right? Yeah. No. No. Sal killed that poor bastard over a fucking poker game. Did that? He did. The guy didn't even cheat. Won fair and square. But that's the kind of guy Sal is. He's a loose cannon. The best part is, he calls me up. Hey, take care of this. Excuse the fuck out of me. Now, it would have been one thing if it was self defense or, you know, he showed some kind of remorse at all. No. No. Because he has no soul. station. I'll talk to my partners. We'll bust him. Yeah, we'll bust him. He'll go to jail for a long time and he, you won't ever have to worry about him again. And on top of all that, I'll get you your money by tomorrow, okay? How are you going to do that? You're tapped out all over town. You can't place one bet. Oh, shit. Now, let me tell you the full one. Not only will I cover the 50 grand, I will cover your bets for one full year. You wanna bet 10, 25, 50, do it. I'll cover it for one year if you do this for me.
what do you got? It's done. Very good. Very good. Well, he, uh, he won't be a problem for you anymore, man. That's exactly what I want to hear. And, uh, I, uh, I took care of the body, too. So, it's okay. That's great. You know... I think I want to see the body. He's, he's my brother and all, and... Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to see the body. Oh, uh... Oh, uh... You know what, it's okay. No one's ever going to find the body. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. You know something, Paul. You... Got to be the worst bullshitter I've ever met. Hey, hey, now you wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't understand. This fucking guy. See, Maddie, I told you. Fucking balls on this guy. Yeah. What uh? What did he say again? This guy walks up to me, slaps a plane ticket in my hand, and tells me I need to leave the country tonight. Says my own brother wants to whack me. Fucking comedy. Tell me, Paul, where did you get money for a plane ticket? I had a very small emergency fund. Mad money, you know. Told me to have to fly coach and no check bags. When are you guys gonna get it? My family? We run this fucking city. Right? I can walk anywhere in the city with my head held high and I know no one will fuck with me. You think this is the first time someone's tried to pit us against each other? Little like fucking scumbag. Listen, Sal. I'm sorry if that's happened to you before, but this guy, he wants to kill you, okay? He wants you fucking dead. Fuck this guy, Maddie. What's doing? Let's. No, no, no. Wait! money you got on you? Just a couple bucks. Give me it. <clears throat> give me your keys, give me your wallet, give me your badge. Come on. Just so you know, I told everybody in town that you can't pay and that you don't plan on paying. So they'll be coming for you real soon. Now get out. Wait. Give me your gun. 